So we just finished up checking like ride heights and whatnot because the car was a little too low. So we're trying to dial that in just before we get out there and actually rip off a lap. We've got the stock set up right now. Uh, we're gonna go out there and see what we can do with that stock set up. And then we're gonna, we're gonna pull that off, put the chase base, uh, do the BBE, and we're gonna go from there. One lap at a time, make sure make sure we're good to go. We got the ride heights correct now, so I just want to make sure we can that. Oh, so we're gonna do that for two more laps, and then we'll, we'll go forward. Yeah, we're gonna do the ride heights and we're gonna and then we're gonna go back. And then, oh my God, you're gross. Hey, this is my friend. That's also my friend. Not anymore. Not after the bird on camera like that. Full of laps, just get yourself acclimated, but um, just be easy on the brakes because it will it'll lock the tires up in a hurry. That's one thing I've noticed is like with with non ABS cars with the sorry you brake, yeah, it's so easy to lock the brakes up. Where is the man? I like, told them I said that should be trusting. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. trusting you. Yeah, good. Um, tire pressures are good and everything like that. Just point and shoot. I locked it up every, almost every turn, and I tried to be super sensitive with it. I mean, just barely going in, but then you can't get a good break in. I mean, if you're going into a turn, you can't you can't barely press them. I mean, they just locked up so fast, they're so touchy. So I couldn't get a good lap. I mean, I did like 225. I just I, I was focused on getting the line again and all that because I haven't driven on a track in a while. But I mean, that was horrible. Yeah, I mean, the whole time I drove, uh, I, I was like, dude take these off right now there's no sales like, pitch like, to it like, like there's get, nothing. Get, get these off the car right now because i i just i i could not consistently grab the brake like there's like all i could think about was like man we need to dial out some rear brake oh i can't do that well the tires keep locking up well i gotta be more ginger on the brake well okay like it's just 
everything that's wrong. It's just, it was completely screwed, so. I don't know how, I mean, I don't know how people track their cars with this. You just don't know. There's no gimmick. There's nothing, we're not BSing right now. That was, I mean, I've driven it. It's not like that's the first time I've ever driven with power brakes. It's just, I forgot how, I've been, driven, I've been driving our manual brake setup for so many yeah. years. I forgot how bad it was. Well, the problem is once, once you actually know, like once you actually know the difference, then there's something, it's kind of like a motorsport ABS. If you've never used a motorsport ABS, it's like, well, whatever, you know, but the second you use one, then it's like, well, man, what have I done in my whole life? So same thing with a manual brake, you know? likes that shit. Got the dual piston brake booster to lead in in an hour. We installed it, got it bled. We had a couple problems in between. We still got it done in an hour. So Brian's gonna take the car out right now. I just drove the car around the paddock. It feels amazing. I mean, we, I don't want to toot my own horn, but we developed a hell of a product. So we'll see what happens. So we knocked roughly like six seconds off our lap. Only change we made was the um, Chase Base DVD. So we'll see. Chase is going to go try to drive it right now and see what he thinks.
real quick, just seeing kind of like where I'm breaking, where I'm not breaking, where I'm turning and things like that. Yeah, I wasn't sure how hard yeah. to break. You probably saw him blocking up. Yeah, well, I mean, I did too. So then, then I'll, um, I'll jump out, or sorry, you'll jump out. I'm gonna try to do a phase nine. Okay, sounds good. Game change. Dude, because on the power brakes, it felt so unsettled. Well, if there's no popping, like, ever. Anywhere? I guess we should do it later on. Once you get a 49, take off the belt. If we want. Yeah, get some power from here. What a ass. So we had a good day. Um, there at the end, we started having some misfires. I think the plug wires got a little too hot. So we're searching for a 49, didn't quite get there, but we still shaved like, what was it? Uh, you were either 57 or 58. I think it was a 57. And then just clicking off 51s on accident. And I, you know, I took him for a ride to show him around the line a little bit. I think we were still putting off 51s like that. So, I mean, the whole time I was thinking it was like, we, we like, Driving the factory break and stuff, I was like, dude, knowing that we were switching to the Chase Bay's DBBE, I was like, I just want to do it now. I'm tired of driving the car the way it is. So, unfortunately, a little spoiled and ruined, right? So, um, and knowing that just like it just made me want to get out of the car and it's over. So, glad we did. The car was super predictable. Once the tire started hooking up, no more lockups. Um, car felt absolutely on rails, easily could have done a 49 if we had more time, but. That's what we got. I mean, we proved, you know, even if it's the same day, same car, same setup, we had same easily spot, shed yes. five or six seconds. Yep. And the fact of the matter is, manual brakes are better. Yeah, I mean, without a doubt. Proper setup, you got good pads, chase base, dual piston, brake booster delete, and bi uh, adjustable bias valve. Yeah, that's it. I and mean, the car felt like. Ooh, what was the portion that was in the shop? The uh, GT4 MR. GT4 MR. Right? 780 GT. Like a five or six thousand dollar tilt blended ash shut up. And this fell. Pedal fuel was the same. The consistency was the same. Of course, the balance bar isn't there, but from 90, 95% of setups, you're going to even utilize it. Right. And like we said, for like the grassroots sky, I mean, it's like the affordability of that versus like a big tilt system. I mean, you're talking, you want to do tilt, like you're going to spin between fab work because there's going to be fab work in parts alone you're going to spend five thousand dollars like easily so it's like that's like pretty much plug and play system with like minor modifications so that, that's one of those things that's kind of a foul kill like yeah sometimes you open up a door and it just goes at two so yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, huge win yeah. today we've had a rocky start but i love that brakes up my heavy power brakes i want to let it fall all around Y'all uh, come on this side of the car and stand like stand. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's sick. Don't call it a comeback, dude. Pointed at the wrong guy. Hey, let's do a plank. Look at this. <laughs> I don't have a dad at all. <laughs>
<laughs> Good one, buddy. Well, we didn't say much on social media. And we haven't really announced anything about it, but we really wanted to do Honda B-Series testing. Um, and, you know, generally we build our own cars, but we have so many projects going on. Our good longtime friend Richie in Nashville uh, wanted a new chassis and, and there was an opportunity that popped up for us to buy one of the most perfectly built Civics. Everything that we do, he kind of did. Um, I think the big thing here about uh, this project is that there's a very common theme amongst kind of JDM styling Honda builds. They all run, you know, Jay's racing arms and ASD, or sorry, ASR sway bars. Uh, this is a B16B engine. It's got Recaro, CTR Recaros. It's got an auto power cage. This is the most common, um, I'm not saying it's not unique, but this is a very common Honda build. And it was important to me not to have a full race car. We wanted the common Honda build and see what it did on track with just Chase Bay's products. So that's kind of what we're doing here. And we're gonna try to stick to this platform as much as we can. I think from here, all we're gonna change is spring rates and you know just corner balance and align the car properly and then just fine tune all the chase base products and i think people will be blown away at how far this car can go with just chase base products